now the um, the closet has been emptied. We got the 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 boxes, the comic book boxes full of Minton card figures, and and these are bins full of different toy lines, which we can go through some of them just to get an idea. A lot of these um, bins of toy lines were actually upstairs in my toy library be before I started working on the Joe book, but as I began to gather more and more Joe items, um, I needed to have <laughs> space, so I start so I started bringing these down here. The first bin is a bin of old Ultraman um, figures and cool uh, Japanese aliens. I, some of them I, well here, actually you can see, I, I usually put my favorites in the front because when the, these are stacked, when, when I had these on in the bookcases to, to be able to look at, I think some of them are really are fascinating. So I like, I like the colorfulness of them. Their articulation is really, really limited, but they're fun. Uh, what is this bin? Oh, this looks like Tailspin. Yeah, oh wow, I remember these bins. The kids used to play with these all the time. I, I mean, can you? Isn't that an, a, a tri-level plane? That's awesome. What do we have here? Here we have Tarzan. Tarzan is always one of my favorite, favorite um, uh, fantasies. I mean, fantasy lines. Well, t movies. When I was a kid, I used to, I used to live in Guatemala. And um, after church on Sunday, we would all go to the movies. And if, and if it was a Tarzan movie, I was really, really happy. This looks like Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem items. This is a really neat figure. I like that. Duke Nukem himself. These are some of the... After, after McFarland um, took off in the 90s, there were a whole bunch of, of independent... Um, Toy makers who came out with some really nice stuff. This is Son of Frankenstein. Yeah, just Son of. Yeah, these are just. The, the, again, these are later figures that were from the 90s that were based on the Universal Studios. I mean, this one here is one. I love the creature from the Black Lagoon. I think that's an awesome. It's an awesome um, character and an awesome figure. Oh, the Bride of Frankenstein is falling down. Okay. Okay, these are ants from the movie Ants. And, um, yeah, the kids, um, the kids were beginning to grow up at the time when these came out. Some of these were played more with my, by my nieces and nephews or friends of theirs. Oh, these are, um, oh, these are Transformers for Girls. I forget, the Wish, oh, uh, Wish Worlds. So, for instance, here's a, um, a refrigerator. And you open the refrigerator up, and it transforms, so I can remember how to do it. Ah, uh, darn it. It transforms into a whole other room or whatever. And each one of these, whether it's a chair that transforms, it's a, I mean, they, they all transform into really, really neat things. It was a, it was a neat line, and the kids really enjoyed playing with these. And, okay, well, these are just um, uh, from the Marvel Universe. These are probably toy vids. You know, good, good Venom and Spider-Man and other neat figures, and I try to army build in, in those lines as well for, for neat setups. Here we have mask, and this is also this is men of metal. These these are this is not my main mask collection. These must just be extras that we we ended up with. They liked masks so much that when they would play with them, inevitably sometimes some things would get broken or whatever. So what I did was I got an extra set so that they could play with them and not have to worry about. Usually they're really, really good with, with, when they played with items and they could play with them full brow um, and, uh, and, and still keep them in good condition. But masks, they were a little more fragile. Like for instance here you can see that the door is off. So these were ones that they could take outside and play and just mess around. And so we had two, two separate sets of masks. Okay, these are, oh, just McDonald's toys, because I started collecting toys when the kids were really, really young, and as they would, um, and w with Happy Meals, we would pick them up. Some of them are kind of neat. This looks like, oh, wow, these are um, uh, Street Sharks. And I guess, that, I, think it's, I think I was able to get all of the Street Sharks, every one of them. I think some of them are, are, are really kind of neat. Um, they're, they're, the kids didn't play with them as much. I don't know why. Um, Here we have. Oh, this is more um, toy biz. Uh, 
X-Men based item. Here you have um, some uh, the play sets by Galoob. There's Transformer play set. I mean, excuse me. Why did I say Transformer? I meant um, uh, Terminator. Terminator. And so there's this is an, uh, some aliens things. There most most of these are Galoob play sets in here. Looks like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo and friends. And then here we have. Oh, these are um, these are from, from Japan. They're sort of like um, muscle men. Well, they, they but they were they were muscle men that were released at the same time muscle men were released in the U.S. But these were released in Japan. They're, these are actually one of my older son's favorite, favorite lines. Well, not favorite lines, but he, he enjoyed them a lot. Okay, yeah, these are all Exo Squad figures. And this, these must, this, okay, again, we had two sets of the Exo Squad. We had Exo Squad that we kept sort of to keep in pristine condition so we knew exactly what little pieces went with which and which figure, and then another set to play with. So the set to play with, I believe, is upstairs. Okay, this is Impact figures. Well, these are Impact and others. Let's see, Power Force and ghosts and there's about four different lines in here because when the when the line was too small for a bin i would incorporate try to put other sort of like ones in it this probably one of the reasons i like this is because the um the uh the hometown of one of the figures is the same as our hometown this is quest for camelot some of these actually weren't easy to find there aren't very many of them but i remember looking for them and i had trouble finding these Okay, here are some um, Star Trek and uh, little mini uh, sets. I like the the Borg and the, what's what's the Borg spaceship called? Just the Borg uh, cube or whatever. Cube, yeah, that's the cube. I even like the name of it. That's kind of neat. Uh, let me get in there. Okay, this is just um, these are older uh, Mickey Mouse Disney type things. Toonsylvania. Oh, yeah. Oh, the kids played with these a lot. Yeah, these, these were um, just sort of a, a, a silly look at um, Universal Monsters. Here we have, let's see, Stretch. I should remember these. These are ghosts. And what is the, are these aren't Casper, are they? Looks like Casper. Yeah, I guess they are. Okay. And this just looks like an assortment of stuff. Rat Fink and other, again, just a, I, I enjoy silly stuff. In fact, I enjoy silly stuff more than my kids did. Okay, this is, most for the most part, I didn't collect it past the year 2000. I obviously collected past the year 2000 with Joe's um, for the book, but for the most part, I really ran, only very rarely picked up other stuff. This is one of the times when I did, this is um, some of the early Harry Potter stuff. Um, that I picked up mainly because my nieces were coming to visit and they, they were just, they love Harry Potter. And so that, did I already do that? Yeah, so I got those for them to play with. And then these, these are things that <laughs> both my sons make fun of me for ever buying. I love them and they, they think they're the dumbest toys ever made. They're called flies, dragonflies. And um, they have a, uh, they have a launcher and you launch the figure out and it, it twirls and twirls and twirls and comes back down and they're just so so colorful and i i don't know i think this i think some of the ima imagination that went into this dragonfly line is pretty awesome but i seem to be the only person that thinks that i've never met anybody else who likes the dragonfly line oh these are more these are godzilla these are older godzilla figures well no not all no not all older there's a combination it looks like um i i, I collected godzilla long before i collected joe and i picked up lots of some of these are newer, some of these are older. They're just they're just all combined together. Um, the Marvel Universe guys and Toy Biz. Yeah. Here it looks like we have um, oh, a dirty lid is what we have. But this is, uh, you can see, I can't even think of the name of it. Toy Story. And Toy Story 3 just came out, which is neat. I can't wait to go see that. And here's another really dusty lid. I'm glad. Oh, these are Constructs. That's another thing the kids spent hours and hours and hours building all sorts of things uh, with constructs. That was uh, that that was a good purchase. Um, Rugrats, bunches of Rugrats, and here we have. 
Oh, what is this? Oh, the, um, what are these guys called? The, the, the mouse guys. What is it? Did it say the, their name? Biker mouse, biker mice from Mars. These are the, the, I have the larger ones too upstairs, and these are the, the smaller, my, um, the smaller biker mice. And their play sets. And then, these are, um, play school, uh, dinosaurs. Um, what, they, what were they called? Definitely dinosaurs. And then there are some very some that are much larger than that. They are up in the green room upstairs. And then oh wow, I remember these 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 are some of the first things I bought. These are Alvin and the Chipmunks, and it came with um, whatever this guy's name is. I can't remember. And they used to and there's a, a, a there's a an actual theater, and they would, kids would set the theater up and have all these really cool plays that they would do with with the um, with the figures. It looks like it's not just Alvin Chipmunks in here. This is also here, and that's a, what is the name of that line? Uh, hopefully I have something here that, that will remind me. No. It, um, Teddy Ruxpin, that's it. Those are Teddy Ruxpin figures. So, this looks like an assortment of um, Transformer knockoffs. That's what these are. These are all Transformer knockoffs. There might be a, a real Transformer or two in here, but most of them are knockoffs. It's like something apes. Something apes. Hold on. Space apes. No, space monkeys. Space monkeys. That's what they are. And yeah, I wish I, could, I wish I had time to pull all this stuff out. Some of it is so awesome. Transformers for toddlers. These are transformers. Um, these are letter transformers that they turn into, like this one here turns into a, a robot. And whether letters or numbers. And it's, it's something that my kids loved to play with these when they were really young. These came out in the mid 80s, I think. And then what do we have here? Here we have more um, more Marvel Universe guys. Yep. Oh, there's, there's a Toy Fair exclusive. There's a Silver Surfer. And then here we have Quake. Again, this is, I guess I think this is another independent one. What's the who is the name of the Thesaurus? And. Um, some neat looking figures. I like I like him. I think he's big. But they're heavy. And they're they're not they're not the kind of plastic that that they there's a little bit too rubbery. They're more like the the modern the really modern figures. They just I, I still prefer the, the feel of the eighties and the early nineties. What's the who is the name of the Oh yeah, we these are Vortec. These are the, the other the other mask. Sort of their vehicles that transform and do neat things. It says Vortec undercover conversion squad. And these are cha um, Chaos and Puppet Master and other independent. Um, these are some of the ones that first started coming out after McFarlane began, when, when really when the toy industry really, really did a drastic change to much more detail, but and a, and a, a, a more rubbery plastic. Those the Duplos that we showed with the the the, um, the numbers and letters. These are um, Duplos that turn into different shapes, like you know circles and squares that you transform into other things. These are Mighty Max, and I love that Mighty Max Mountain. I think my, I, these, these are another one of those toy lines that really makes me happy. So I ended up selling, I had all of the Transformers literally from the entire, um, the entire line from the 80s through to the ones that were done by KB, Generation 1, Generation 2, and beyond, Beast Awards, etc. And I ended up selling all of them to a man in, um, in Florida who had lost his entire collection in a hurricane. And he, was, he headed up one of the largest Transformer sites. And it worked out well for me. I needed the money so that I could buy more Joes. And um, he needed the, the and it was an opportunity for him to get an entire collection, complete, mint complete with the packaging. So he drove up from Florida with his wife and he took my, my Transformers. But I had some extras of some and these were some extras that I, I held on to. These are Men of Metal. Um, these are another uh, military line. There's a, a sailor, and they came with this this case that you would keep them in. They all had their own medals that you that you put them in. This one's bomb expert. Here is bomber. This is infantryman. 